Hello everybody, this video that you're about to see is a must watch. I don't even know if you can see this right now. I feel like they're probably going to take this video down. The Kamala secret Gestapo internet police are probably going to either delete this, omit this, or delete my channel. I don't know. As a matter of fact, let me know in the comments if you're here and you can actually see this. This is a video of a veteran, an American veteran reacting to the viral post of a clerk at a store showing the receipt of an illegal migrant's food stamp balance. Okay, so I posted this uh, a, a couple of, actually about a week ago, I posted this. And what this is, you can see the balance at the top there. It'll say EBD FS balance, $13,000 is the remaining balance. Um, on this. And so I posted this not that long ago. And, you know, essentially because I mean, it's hard to translate and it's hard to even see on the receipt. So here's, here's what it says here. So an illegal migrant from Venezuela left her receipt at the grocery store. The cashier, okay, took a photo. The EBD, EBT food stamp balance is over 13 thousand dollars the ebt cash balance is almost five thousand dollars and in this post i said this while millions of americans can't afford groceries rent gas clothes for their children the bare necessities this should fright strike fear and disgust in the heart of every single american a vote for Kamala Harris is a vote more for this. So um, I posted that, uh, it says here, August 1st on my Facebook page, but also on my, uh, you know, on the YouTube community tab as well, and on X. Follow me on X, at Professor Nez. Follow me on Facebook too, if you want, at Professor Nez. So here you have this American veteran reacting to this. This video has absolutely broke the internet. I'm going to play this for you, but I'm going to give you fair morning. It's emotional. There is a little bit of choice language in there. I just want to give you fair warning in case you have kids or you're listening to this on in the car on a podcast or whatever. Um, but let's watch this video together and we'll come back. A migrant, okay, an immigrant left a receipt in the store. And you know how I got the food stamp remaining balance at the bottom of the receipt, right? $13,500 with a $5,000 cash, Larry, okay? Migrant, somebody that's not from this country. Now, you are a veteran, and you've also served this country, correct? Correct. Now, tell these people, okay, after I just said they left the receipt with a $13,000 food stamp balance. Tell these people, as a veteran that served this country, right, tell them how, how much food stamps you get in a month. $23. $23. 23 not 2300. 23 dollars. Not 230. How much you getting in food stamps a month? dollars a month. 23 dollars versus a person that's not even from this country versus a person that did not serve this country. $13,000 they said it was on that receipt. 23 dollars. And you fighting to get your what? 100. Your 100% 100 from yeah. the VA. From the VA. He can't Fight. even get it. Fight. America, you should be ashamed of your Fight goddamn from 100%. self. You should be ashamed of yourself. See if, see if Kamala gonna fix that. Here this man is a veteran, okay? Fighting for his 100%. He didn't fought for this country and he get $23 worth of food stamps every month. And then they didn't found a damn receipt of an immigrant, a migrant, getting $13,000 a month, Larry. Not every five months, not every a year. Month. A month. Is it not a slap in the face? Slap in the face. Big time. But well, that's sad. Fighting for this country ain't even worth it. Nope. It's not. No. You got it? Roll with it. Sad. He has to fight to even get the 100%. I don't even know 
my visceral reaction to that is just it makes my absolute body shake and tremble with rage my blood i mean right now i can my hands are kind of just watching it again i get really emotional um let me know what your visceral reaction is in the comments i'm sure you can share my sentiment i don't know who this person is uh, I, I, this video has been going viral all over the internet but i'm gonna find out and if i find out and find out a way that we can donate to them that's on the up and up and legitimate, etc. I, I, I'll leave a link to that down below. If, even if this video doesn't get taken down, I feel like it's going to get taken down because um, these this DNC machine, the Obama Clinton mafia, they are ruthless, cunning gangsters. Um, but uh, this is, I've talked about this many, many times. I've talked about this in other videos. I even did an entire video uh, on Dr. Phil's special when he visited the border. This has been happening in New York. This has been happening in uh, Chicago. This has been happening in California, Texas. It's been happening in Arizona. Everywhere that, you know, you see an influx of illegal migrants, up to over, like, almost 18 million. By the way, a lot of these politicians keep talking about 10 million illegal migrants, 10 million undocumented. No, no, no. That's just the documented. That's just the reported 10 million that have crossed the border illegal. It's much much worse than that. There are some reports by the Border Patrol Union that the actual likely figure is north of 15, 18 million. And they're giving them health care, free health care that we're paying for. They're giving them $15,000 in food stamps, $10,000 credit cards. They're giving them amnesty. They're giving them accelerated pathways with zero screening, zero uh, 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 obstacles, impediments to citizenship so they can vote. They're passing out pamphlets in Mexico. I've done videos on this. They're all over my channel. Just go to my YouTube channel, Rumble, whatever, and check them out. I've talked about this for months. This has been a plan. This has been a strategy. And this poor American veteran, somebody who sacrificed for our country, somebody who put his life on the line for our country, served for our country, can't even get the full 100% of a pitiful, miserable, repulsive $23 a month? And you're giving thousands of dollars to my illegal migrants? Literally buying votes with our taxpayer dollars? And you're going to tell me this isn't the most important election of our lives? You're not going to tell me this is not the most consequential election since 1861 of our beautiful, glorious constitutional republic? My fellow Americans, this is a travesty of the highest order. There are still people out there who don't care no matter what. We're going to vote blue no matter what. Just anything to get Trump out of there. They need to see this video. You have to tap the thumbs up. You have to share this with everybody you know, make a comment down below. I want two comments at the very least from every one of you, please. This is not about me. It's not about vanity. I could care less about the likes. I could care less. This is about when you comment and like and share, it sends a signal to the algorithm. Media is the best way to educate our citizenry. When the algorithm senses, oh, a lot of people are liking and commenting, what they do is they push the video out through the recommendations algorithm to more people who've never been exposed to the truth. The more informed citizenry we have, the more informed decisions they can make. And when they execute critical thinking, critical discernment, decisions that are informed by the truth, that helps you, that helps me. More importantly, it helps our beautiful American country, our republic. So I beg you, share this with everybody you know. Tap the thumbs up. It's free. It's, it takes you a nanosecond. Tap it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know authentically, realistically, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know if you're actually seeing this, because I don't know. I think that the Kamala Gestapo is going to probably delete this, maybe even delete my channel. I don't know. But I can't wait to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you made it this far as well, in the pinned comment, show notes, and description is our free newsletter. Just sign up for our free newsletter. That is almost like your insurance policy. Become an As Nation Insider so you never miss out on anything. My fellow Americans, if we don't do something about this in November, it's just going to get worse. On day one, 
on day one of his presidency, Tombstone Vegetable and Chief Biden, he reneged all of Trump's border policies. The Border Patrol Union is livid, livid. They've endorsed Trump. They're not endorsing Kamala. You have somebody who's running for president who hasn't earned a single vote, earned a single primary. We don't even know what she believes in. We don't know what her policies are. Go to her website right now. Go to KamalaHarrisForPresident.com and find out if you can find me one policy. She hasn't done one interview. She hasn't done one press conference. And they expect us to vote for her. It's insanity. And they're buying votes, letting, allowing a pouring, a deluge of illegal immigrants, giving them all the shiny objects, giving them tons of money while our, while our veterans, our poor veterans, American citizens, even me. I mean, I could use a $15,000 credit card. How about you? I could use a $10,000 food stamp or whatever. How about you? Let me know in the comments. How about the people who actually contribute to this society? It is demonic, my fellow Americans. This is DEFCON 1. We're not playing around anymore, guys. We got a few months left to the election. The time is now. We have to take action. We got to drag every single soul that we know, our friends, our neighbors, our uncles, our grandparents, to the voting booth in November. We have to do this. It can't just be too big to rig. It needs to be impossible to rig. Because I do think, based on all the evidence, based on all the stuff I've done on the assassination attempt, I do think they're going to they're gonna try to, to take this. They're going to try to do what they did in 2020. I'll never forget, back in 2020, on the night of November, uh, 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 the, the election, I can't remember, it was 4th or 5th, I went to bed. Trump was ahead in Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. He was ahead in South Carolina, um, Ohio. And then I woke up and there I see that cackling Kamala making that phone call. We did it, Joe. How did that happen? How did that happen? I throw this off to you. Please let me know in the comments down below. Sign up for our free newsletter. Check out these videos right here coming up on the screen. Subscribe and follow. And as always, may God bless you and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.